YouTube, it's me, James Mansfield, bringing you all a one brand tutorial. Today's brand is NYX Cosmetics. That's right, I'm gonna show you all how to get this beautiful look using only NYX Cosmetics. You're in for a treat, enjoy. Okay, so I start by using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. This is in the shade Deep slash Profound. I'm using that to color correct my beard making sure I don't look like I haven't shaved, using that all over the face, trying to conceal all those dark patches that will come through if you put on your foundation regularly. Now, most girls can skip that step, unless, you know, you're Italian. Next, I'm using the NYX Invincible Concealer. This is in Cool Tan, number nine. I'm using small dabs of that over the color-corrected concealer, that way to give my face a more fleshy tone and correct that beard I have so I have nice smooth skin. You can be whatever you want with makeup. I'm living proof. I go from a busboy to a bombshell. All it takes is about 35 minutes and lots and lots of pancake makeup and vodka. Makeup has that power. I apply it on very, very lightly in patches because I'm going to blend it all out later with the beauty blender. Getting a nice smooth surface, a nice blank canvas before you put on any more powders or any other colors. Next, I am going to use the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going with a dark brown color on my cheeks to cut a whole new cheek. Forgot to put on my wig cap, that's important. Carve out my new forehead using that wig cap and the combination of the brush and the cream, making my forehead appear much smaller than it is naturally, going down the bridge of my nose as well as the jawline. And then, using the light tannish color, I am going to spread that over my cheeks and my highlighted areas that I want to stand out more, like the bridge of my nose, the tip, the forehead and chin, and blend those all together with the Beauty Blender. Slowly, not to make patches on my face of color, but to make it all blend seamlessly so the shadows all catch in the right areas. Please don't look at how dirty my Beauty Blender is. It kind of looks like an ancient butt plug. This thing can tell some stories. When I wash this things out, there's so much brown clay you could build a Pueblo. Next, I am going to go in with a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color Milk. I'm going to line the waterline of my eyes with that to make my eyes pop more. Oh, forgot to show it. <laughs> it's going to make my eyes appear larger and more feminine. Next, I'm using the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger. I'm going to create a cat eye wing effect with my eyes. Giving that nice pinup girl look I always like to have. A little throwback to the vintage days of the 50s and 60s. And always wing at an angle. You want Betty Page, not Cleopatra. Whoop, I don't know what happened there. The biggest mistake you can make is having that flat line going from your eye. It just makes you look sleepy. There, that wing turned out great. Just drawing that wing nice and smooth. Again, I always use the mini arrow effect. This works the best on my eyes. Otherwise, I have terrible problems with creasing. And just going under the bottom of the waterline with that. Very lightly. I don't like it to be too thick. And also elongating my nostrils with that gel liner as well. They're nice and pretty. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to use the banana powder to highlight my cheeks, bring them out more, make them a bit more prominent, as well as my chin and the forehead. There's lots and lots of fallout on this, just be warned. Also down the bridge of my nose, creating that little exclamation point. Fun fact, nose contour is cheaper than surgery. Now, I forgot to get my board that I usually do my contour on my cheek with, so I just fold up some paper from my sketchbook, and using the darkest color in the palette, I'm going to cut my cheek with that. And then I go in with the second darkest color in the palette, and I do my forehead with that, not trying to use too many dark colors all over the place. Otherwise, you kind of look like children's finger painting. It's just not cute. The third darkest, I do the jawline with. And then going in with the second darkest again, I'm using that along the bridge of my nose to give it a nice cutout effect and shadow, making it appear thinner. And then using some of that dark color, I'm going to cut out where I want my crease to go. Then just cake on more banana powder. You always want your highlights to be strong. The longer you let that sit, the better it looks. And just going back in with that banana powder, trying to diffuse some of that dark color there before I blend it together, letting it all cook on my face. Now I'm going into the creases of my eyes with the NYX Avant Pop palette in Art Throb. I'm using the orange, the brown, and the black in a combination to make a whole new eyelid. 
and then going into the middle section with the white. I want to do just a simple lid today. And the problem with using white eyeshadow is it always ruins the eyeliner. So just feel free to go back in with that NYX black gel liner and just fill in where the white got over. And now using my brush, I'm just blending all that out. Have as much fun as you want with this. If your eyelids are too small, make them the size of your forehead. It's all corrective. If your eyebrows are too thin, make them as thick as you want them to be. Make them look like two caterpillars. Have one eyebrow. There's no rules. Do whatever you want. I've had many faces in my time of doing drag. I've been a clown, a beauty queen. Now I'm kind of a hybrid of both. You want it all to be pretty and blended. You just keep going back in places you think need more highlight. Like there, I think I need more banana powder on my cheeks. And going in with the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. This is in the color Brunette. I am going to darken up my eyebrows and fill them in nice and thick. I pluck my natural eyebrows beyond recognition for this sole purpose. I love the look of real eyebrows and drag. I don't know what it is. It's just a throwback to the old 90s style of drag. Like the Charles Bushes and the Barla Jean Mermans and the Hedda Lettuces. I love that style. That's really what I'm paying homage to by this. And next I'm going in with a nude pink lip liner from NYX. I'm going to trace out where I want my lips to go. Overdraw them a bit above the natural lip line to give me nice plump Jane Mansfield lips. And just fill it in with that liner so you have a nice base before you put on the lipstick. They're nice and pretty. All right. Next, I am going to go in with the NYX Cream Lipstick in Pure Nude. I'm going to put this all over my lips, smudge that all in. Ooh, give me a really pretty Shakespeare, Travinsky, and me record cover, Jane Mansfield lip. That's what I liked about this. Very, very 60s. And I forgot to get my blushes again, honestly, so I went back in with the Avant Pop palette using that orange to blush out my face with that on my cheeks and on my forehead, and I just blend all that out. Yep, just keep blending. I'm not exactly serving fish, but what I'm serving definitely comes from the ocean. Maybe it's a leopard seal or a shark. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going back in with my NYX Black Gel Liner and Smudger, and I'm making a nice beauty mark. Now, the only thing I couldn't find from NYX in drugstores or Ulta or anything were eyelashes, so I'm using just regular dollar store lashes that I stacked on top of each other to make nice and thick and long. Smudging on a bunch of glue on that and planting them right on my eyes to make them all pretty and complete the look. Pay no attention to that big gob of glue. It will dry clear. Always make sure to use your eyelash curler. And finally, I'm going in with the Le Fro Fro Mascara Wand. I am just making those eyelashes plump together, making them nice and pretty and seamless on the eye. My look for today is think 50s blonde bombshell tackling the 60s. And then just go back in making little fixes to certain things. Like here, I thought my creases need a bit more drama. So I just made them a bit darker. And then we're done. I'd say for final thoughts, there are products of NYX that I actually have in my full rotation that I actually use all the time. Like the NYX eyeliner, I used to use Ben Nye and now I just retired it to NYX. Otherwise, their lipsticks, if I don't have my MACs or forget to pack them, I always know I could rely on them because they're just as creamy and just as pigmented. They don't last as long, but you will get the effect you need if you're only going on stage for three and a half minutes. Otherwise, yeah, I don't really have much to say as far as negatives go with these products. The foundations could be a little thicker, but that's neither here nor there. They're not a stage brand, so you can't really expect that I have something like them. I will say another winner that's actually in my real life rotation outside of drag is the contour palettes and cream and the powders. The powders I use for drag because they are so pigmented and they have so much fallout that it actually kind of works in your favor if you're doing drag because we gotta let that shit cook. Otherwise, in real life, uh, unless you wanna look like you got caught in a snowstorm and hit in the face with dirt at the same time, I'd skip over it. But the creams are good. Get the creams. Well, that's all I got for you today, kittens. Alrighty, like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah! Love you all. Click here to see me style a big drag queen wig or to do the drugstore challenge. Come on, click it. Netflix will still be there when you're done. Just click it. Come on. Now.